wanted to give my quick review of Patty to Two. I've actually been able to see it twice at, at two different screenings. I saw it in December and I saw it in uh, just uh, this last weekend. And obviously, if I saw it twice, I really, really liked it. I love the first one so much. It's one of my favorite family films of the last decade, for sure. Uh, it just, it, like, usually those CG creatures amongst live action are, are terrible. But this just had so much heart. It was so sweet. I loved all of the performances. It was funny. It was, it wasn't, it had slapstick, but it didn't lean on the slapstick too much. Uh, so, like, we were all worried when we saw the trailer because it looked super slapsticky and super, you know, we just had seen so many movies like the Smurfs and stuff like that that were so terrible, Yogi Bear and stuff. And, and so, uh, you know, it made us all nervous, and then we went and saw it, and it was a total delight, and Paul King did such a great job. It's amazing. It was like one of his first movies he ever made, and uh, the the visual effects looked great. I loved the, in the original, I loved the the styling of everything. I love how, like, the wallpaper grew, and you see in their house, and, and uh, it just had such magic to it. Peter Capaldi's fun in it. Uh, it had such a great, both, uh, had such a great cast. You had uh, Ben Wishaw as Paddington, and then you get Hugh Bonneville as Mr. Brown, as Sally Hawkins, Mrs. Brown, Ju Julie Walters as the grandma character, and they're all just so lovely. And there's just a, a sense of kindness to the original film to be kind and and uh, and to each other, and that's what we need in this. Uh, this day and age. And so here we come to the second one and you know, you get really nervous. Like, is it, is it going to be as good? And I don't know, I have to watch them kind of back to back, to back and really decide like which one is better, but they're both really strong and really sweet. And in this uh, instance, you have the only real change as far as the structure is you have a uh, Hugh Grant in for Nicole Kidman. And I, I liked Nicole Kidman in the first one, but I think that Hugh Grant might be a little bit better. He's really funny as this actor who uh, is, I don't know, like sort of this one man show and believes he's like the greatest. And he, he, uh, he's doing doctorate commercials, but he thinks he's like this great actor and is very funny. And, and uh, so he, he ends up, both him and Paddington, are trying to get this pop-up book from the Jim Broadbent character, the antique dealer. Pop-up book ends up getting stolen, and Paddington gets accused of stealing, but he's just running after the culprit. And uh, so he ends up going to jail. And it's so funny because uh, he is still maintaining his like positive attitude in jail. You have Brendan Gleeson, who is the chef at the jail. And he's just been like cooking this like horrible porridge for them all. But Paddington, you know, wants some spice, wants some flavor, goes up and is polite and ends up giving him a marmalade sandwich. And we all know the magic of marmalade from Paddington. And he's, of course, in love with the marmalade sandwich. And him and Paddington basically become friends uh, because they learn, he shows them how to make marmalade. And uh, it's just so sweet and so funny and uh, such a pleasant, it's not crass, it's not vulgar at all. It's not one of those movies that, like even Jumanji, as, as much as I did enjoy it, had those sort of grown up elements. This, this is just manages to be sweet and lovely and wonderful without those elements. And uh, it's, it's just something you could take little ones to. I just think, I can't imagine, just one of those movies that I really can't imagine anyone disliking. Like, it might not be your favorite, but I really can't imagine anybody being like, oh, that's a bad movie. It's just so lovely and affectionate and warm and comforting. And, uh, and it's just a movie where people are good. And, like, and, yeah, you have your villains. But, like, even they have, like, a certain lovableness about them, the villains. And I don't know. It's just a pleasant, lovely, wonderful movie. I love it. And, you know, the, the first one made it in my top 10 of the year in 2014, I think. And I wouldn't be surprised if this film ends up in my best of, of 2018. It certainly would have made it in if I was doing 
if I was including it in 2017. And so it's a great way to start off this year of movies. And uh, I don't know, I just, I just love it. I think it's so good. That's all I can say. So let me know what you think of Paddington 2 and what you thought of the first one. I do have a review for Family Movie Night of the first one. And so I'll put a link to that. You can check it out. And uh, thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. And I will talk to you later. Bye.